Hello, trading is closed on February 9th, 2016. Well, I said yesterday that there were mixed signals from the pattern. Typically, when I get mixed signals, I anticipate a gap followed by a rapid move outside of the day's range. That didn't happen. Gapping down and then trading over the high doesn't really count. If we had a gap up and then closed over the high or a gap down and closed under the low, fine. But this doesn't um, meet my criteria. So when that didn't happen, the next likely scenario was we closed a little changed and we closed down 1.23. Typically after a day in which we close a little change like this, we get the gap the following day. So tomorrow I think there's a good chance of a gap outside of the day's range and usually a pretty big move. Trading outside of the range shortly after the open would be sufficient for me. Um, during the day we had a had a um, sell signal early on. The target was at this red spot. We hit the target on the nose and then rally. There was a buy signal, an ultimate buy signal, but MJT said early on it was a false move and even though we traded quite a lot higher it has a target for tomorrow of 1835.49. It's usually positive when you start out low with a gap down rally all day long but it's not positive at all where after an all-day rally you can't close over the middle of the day high and even the early high. The first high it's a very negative pattern unless we gap over today's high or at least have a gap up and trade over it promptly after the open. I don't think that's going to happen. I think this 1835.49 target will print and probably a lot more on the downside. We still have the DeMarc buy signals, but typically if it's going to amount to something, you're going to trade over the close of number eight of um, countdown pretty quickly. That didn't happen on this chart. It didn't happen on the 130 minute chart either. Just can't get over that, let alone close over it. We had buy signals in the 15 minute chart. It isn't too hard to count that we've gone to 22 bars. When number 13 prints, it's a buy. When number 22 prints without delivering much, it's a signal that the buy isn't going to lead to very much. So I'm looking for a sharp move tomorrow, most likely starting with a gap down. I'd like to see today's low fall and perhaps even yesterday's low. If yesterday's low falls, the uh, MJT target of 1828.12 should print, but since it's been tested once, I wouldn't anticipate seeing support under it tomorrow. So if I get the big drop I look for early in the day, it could go a lot lower than the target. And that is today's call.